quite a few things, uh, well, a number of things on this, just this one topic to talk about today. Because, again, in the same vein of Jessica uh, Ainscott, aka the Wellness Warrior, um, unfortunately, uh, history uh, is repeating itself. And it is repeating itself, unfortunately, on a girl named um, Clarissa Gleason, who is a 22-year-old woman, and she's from Western Australia, and she has the same type of cancer that Jessica Ainscott has, or had, or a similar type. And what's going to happen? is pretty much this. She's doing the Gerson therapy and she's been encouraged to do it by, surprise, surprise, the, what seems to be the, um, the vegetable general of Australia, Ty Bollinger, um, promoting this. And she's decided now, she's now doing the Gerson therapy because apparently, you know, the Gerson therapy will save her. It won't. It really, really will not. And again, I can already see history repeating itself because she's got, she's had the initial media attention like Jessica Ainscott did. She'll then go on to create a web page or something like that. I won't be surprised to find out if she's already got one. I'll probably end up doing, looking and having a look. She's already running a GoFundMe where she's trying to raise at the moment, um, yeah. Sixty thousand dollars, and she's already raised thirteen thousand already. That's a lot of money to sink in to quack treatments. And again, this is again the our constant argument is: oh, this costs no money. Then why the hell, if if this treatment costs no money, is she trying to raise sixty thousand dollars? For this treatment, this the, you know Gerson therapy. If this costs no money, why has she got this GoFundMe page specifically to raise money to help her with the Gerson therapy? I'm sorry, this argument that oh it's cheaper than you know chemotherapy. I'm sorry, doesn't fly. Or the fact that it's free or natural, whatever. I'm sorry, but it doesn't fly. And she's going to follow the exact same path as Jessica Ainscott. She's going to be considered that, oh, she's cured, or her cancer is going away, because again, this cancer, the cancer that she has is a slow killer. It takes time, it builds up, and then it will, she will die in absolute pain, just as Jessica Ainscott did. And this is not, you know, people will say, well, that's mean to say, but I'm sorry, it's the truth. And I'm, I'd rather she be hearing the truth from me than these idiots like Ty Bollinger who is encouraging her to die and she's going to be thrown under the bus just like Jessica Ainscott was because again when Jessica Ainscott died the Gerson therapy released a this wonderful blog saying that oh the reason the Gerson therapy didn't work was because she'd already had chemotherapy and that you know it wasn't working therapy just wasn't working and they wished that she'd had gone uh, with the Gerson therapy to begin with well guess what um, our new cow cowgirl here has completely ditched chemotherapy from my understanding she's not even going anywhere near conventional medical treatment and she is going to die there's no better way or, you know, easier way to put it. You know, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to be harsh, but I'm sorry. She's being conned. She's being absolutely conned to the hill. And if she sees this video, I am, I pray to God, go see a doctor. Do not trust people like Ty Bollinger who egged on Jessica Ainscott. And I urge you, look into Jessica. Look what happened to her. Look what she did. Look at the post that the Gerson therapy did where they threw her under, under the bus because, you know, the, it wasn't the therapy's fault. It was her fault in the first place for going for chemotherapy. So don't be tricked because I'm sorry, the Gerson therapy has zero evidence that it works. Zero. 
and to the media that is trying to, you know, that praised her, shame on you. I mean, the, which is the paper that pu published this? Yeah. This is in the Sunshine Daily Coast, and it was on the 14th of April, with the headline of uh, Cowgirl Chooses Alternative, Alternative Therapies to Treat Cancer. Uh, Clarissa Gleason, a 22-year-old woman from Western Australia who was diagnosed with Sivonal Sicoma. Yes, yeah. Sinoval Sicoma? I can't, I, nah. Never counted that word before. Meh. <laughs> in 2015, she has spent much of her time working on cattle stations and has a love of the land. Now she is channeling that passion into beating her cancer. And absolutely a pox, a pox and a curse on this newspaper. I am sorry, but the Sunshine Daily Coast for running this story is absolutely awful. The real story they should have been running is girl conned into, you know, spending thousands of dollars and then dying. If, when she dies, and like, the Sunshine Daily Coast will run a story about, oh, she was an inspiration and whatever, please go to their Facebook page and comment on these stories about, you know, well, hang on, she was doing an unproven medical treatment, not even a medical treatment, uh, you know, and, you know, she was she was doing quackery, and you praised her for doing this. How dare you do this? How dare you th make people think that this phony, bogus treatment works? How dare you do this? You are have absolutely no journalistic integrity at all if you think that this treatment works. I am sorry, the journalist that wrote that piece deserves to be fired. I really, I have no stronger feelings than that. He deserves to be fired and never allowed to write another piece like this ever again. I'm sorry, but he really shouldn't. It is, in, it is a danger to public health, literally, what, that, what they've written. So, yeah. Um, so, when she finally succumbs to her cancer... Uh, expect me to do a video on all the people writing blogs about how brave she was and me showing you the examples of her going, of them going, well, she wasn't doing the therapy right, that's why it didn't work, or she did this and that's why the therapy didn't work. Because that's what's going to happen. You know, let me, you know, let me address you, let's address you now, uh, Clarissa. Yeah, just check, double checking her name. <sighs> if you die, you will have people throwing you under the bus left, right, and center. The people you think are trying to help you now will throw you under the bus just like Jessica Rain's car. You are being set up as a poster child, and when you die, they'll throw you under the bus. Because your, you know, success, because, again, with this cancer, it will look like that your treatments are initially working. But they're not. I hope you come to your senses. I really, really do. Because you need to go, go see your, you know, a real doctor immediately. Or else, you know, you're gonna die, and there's no nicer way to put it. And Ty Bollinger, you are an absolute twat. I would love nothing more to to punch you in the face. And if I ever find out you're coming to the UK or you're running an event in the UK, I'm gonna be there, and I am gonna absolutely throw all these uncomfortable questions at you. And more. Because you deserve it. You so deserve it. 